Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian, I'm here today at the James D. Julia Auction House up in Maine, taking a look at some of the guns that they've got for sale coming up in their March 2015 auction. One of the really cool ones that's out there is this 20-shot broom handle C96 Mauser. This is a really rare variant of what became a very popular pistol. And it's kind of cool, the early, the first handful of years, up until about 1902, when Mauser was manufacturing these C96 pistols, they didn't really know exactly what was going to be popular, what the best configuration for the guns would be, and so they kind of went wild experimenting with all sorts of different variations. Now, after about 1902, things kind of settled down into their standard model, uh, which is what we would all recognize today. But until then, they were making some really neat stuff. So let me go ahead and uh, bring the camera back here, and let's take a closer look at this particular one and see what makes it a little different. It is, of course, the obvious elephant in the room here. It's a 20-shot magazine instead of the typical 10. Um, there are 188 of these total that were manufactured uh, by Mauser, uh, all of them very early guns. You can see that this has the cone-style hammer, where you've got these gripping serrations that actually extend outward to both sides in conical shapes. That's one of the, the early version of how you would get a good grip on the hammer to cock the gun. Really two fingers like that. Now, um, the, the 20 shot versions were made sporadically over the first couple of years of production. Uh, in fact, the very first guns that were presented to Kaiser Wilhelm II of Germany uh, included both 6, 10, and 20 shot examples. They kind of did a shotgun approach, send him everything and, and see what he liked. And then they continued to make these on and off for the next couple of years. Um, if someone wanted it, they would make one. But they never really made it into mass production. Uh, this particular gun would have been made sometime between 1897 and 1899. Um, that's when the largest batch of these was manufactured. Uh, they never did a straight run of 20 shotguns. They were mixed in with production of, of all the other Mausers at the time. So from some folks, the, the feedback from some folks who have actually owned and fired these, it seems that the most likely reason that they didn't do well commercially, aside from being, frankly, even heavier and more poorly balanced than a typical C96, is that they're very difficult to load. The first 10 rounds go in pretty easily. The second 10 rounds is really quite difficult. And, uh, you know, if you were actually going to use one of these in combat, as long as you carried it loaded, your first 20 rounds would work reasonably well, but then, you know what, you're basically, you might as well have a 10 round gun after that. If you want to have practical reloads, you know, in a, a stressful situation, you're probably only going to be loading a single clip at a time. And if you're doing that, there's not that much advantage to having this extra bulk of magazine with you. Now, it wasn't until much later that Mauser started providing these with detachable magazines. During the early production, there was a lot of emphasis placed on the idea that this magazine system was exactly the same as on the Mauser rifles, or virtually the same. Um, Paul Mauser really liked that idea, that commonality, and so the early guns did not have detachable magazines, although frankly that would have made something like this quite a bit more practical. Give it a magazine well and 20 round standalone magazines. Well, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you would like to add one of the 188 authentic original 20-shot C96 Mausers to your own Mauser collection or any collection you happen to have, you have the opportunity to do so. It is, of course, up for sale here at Julia in March. This is lot number 2203. If you click the link right below, that'll take you to Julia's auction catalog where you can take a look at their high-res pictures, their catalogers description, get all the information that you need to create an online account and place a bid or make some plans to come down here in person. So, thanks for watching.